Welcome everyone, my name is John. Today we're talking about five essential travel tips for both your safety and your sanity. So I've been doing a lot of travel in 2018, and I've kind of come across a few things that have really helped to make the whole process a lot more seamless and a lot easier. Because let's be honest, when you're living out of a backpack or a suitcase, it can be sort of stressful sometimes getting from place to place and figuring out where to go and what to do. And you really want to have like your process kind of on lockdown to just sort of make your travels as enjoyable as possible. So my first tip for you is to use only one single bag. Now, this might seem like not that big of a deal, and I'm actually sure you've probably heard this before, actually. But the thing is, is when you have multiple bags and you check luggage, it becomes sort of this relentless sort of hassle where you get someplace and you have to go and wait for it. Sometimes it gets lost. You got to go talk to the checkout counter and figure out where your luggage is, when you're going to get it. It's going to come in three days. Uh, then you got to wait for it and they give you a voucher and you go get your clothes and then you, you wait even more for your, for your luggage. You know, you get to a destination, even if everything goes smoothly and you've got to like wheel this like cart behind you, you know, you're, you've been that person on the cobblestone street where it's like, ka -chunk, ka -chunk, ka -chunk, ka -chunk, ka -chunk. and that's just not a particularly pleasurable way to travel in my opinion and so i like to keep it simple keep it straightforward and just uh one bag and the nice thing this too is by forcing yourself into a single backpack uh you can just put it under your seat in your plane or in the overhead compartment you don't have to stress if there's no space in the overhead compartment on the plane because you can put it under your seat you get where you're going you throw it on your back you walk out the door and uh, you go enjoy the rest of your travel experience it also forces you to reduce the amount of things that you're packing with you, which I think is very much worthwhile. My second tip is sort of a violation of that first idea, and that is to take a second bag and put it inside of the first bag. This is a good idea because when you get to your destination, you're not gonna wanna carry your 30 or 40 liter bag around with you in, in some city. You're gonna probably eventually wanna drop that off and have a smaller like messenger bag is what I prefer. Um, to sort of carry around town with your laptop or your sweater or a snack or, you know, whatever you need. And so get something that will pack flat and light and go into that first bag so that you have that second option if you need it. It's also handy to put things on as a carry-on uh, if you do happen to have, like, want to do a carry-on and, a, like, a personal item. My third tip is sun protection. So, of course, you're probably thinking, get some sunscreen, put it in your bag, and then wear it when it's appropriate. But I like physical sun protection because I don't like wearing sunscreen that much. And the thing is, when you pack sunscreen in your bag, eventually it's going to break, it's going to get all over everything, and then you'll need it and you won't have it because it broke and you forgot to buy more. It's just a big mess. So, you should probably have some, but in case you don't, I like to have a way to cover up my skin. I'm fairly fair skinned and so I burn very easily and I like to have a way to um, protect myself. Head buffs, uh, who I am not associated with in any way, are kind of my favorite strategy for this. You can buy multiple of them, they're inexpensive, you can cover your neck, your head. If you're cold, you can wear it as kind of a hat. Um, if you're warm, it can be kind of like a sweatband. If you want to look like a ninja, uh, that's also an option. So I just think they're really versatile, uh, great packing items that are very light and easy to take everywhere and are just, just an awesome tool for you. My next tip is about more security and safety. And that is, I like to take um, a few hundred dollars of cash um, some copies of identification and some contact numbers and put those in my shoe. And I do that because if by chance my bag gets stolen or lost somewhere or someone, heaven forbid, you know, robs me at gunpoint or knife point, they're probably not going to ask for my shoes. Hopefully they won't. And then I have a way to sort of go to an embassy, prove who I am. I have money to eat and a place to pay for a place to stay. It's just a good sort of safety net that you have with you at all times because 
if you happen to have every single thing you need in your bag and you have no backup options and it does disappear at some point, then you're going to have like a really, really rough time. And so I just, that's for me kind of like just that extra layer of protection that makes me feel a little bit more secure when I'm on the road. Finally, when you're traveling, it's easy to sort of just forget about your health and your body because you're having all these new incredible experiences. You're eating lots of great food. You're doing lots of fun stuff. And it's easy to forget that you still have to take care of yourself. And so um, I would encourage you to learn some basic body weight exercises like squats, you know, push-ups, maybe some, some gymnastics, that sort of thing. And you can do this on the road to sort of take care of yourself. And I, I think that's worthwhile. Also, a lot of people like to run, but cardio on the road is difficult because it requires either equipment or even running shoes. I don't like to pack multiple shoes. Packing multiple shoes in your bag is a pain in the butt because they take up a ton of space and you need like a bunch of shoes for a bunch of vacations. So I just, I just take one pair of shoes. In order to do cardio on the road without running shoes, you can do what are called like up downs or burpees. You just flop down on the ground and then get up again. That's about it. All right, that's it for my travel tips. Uh, I hope those are helpful to you and that you'll use them in the future. If you do, uh, I'm glad to have helped in any way. Take it easy.